So you guys may or may not have seen the video I released a few days back that had this shuttle that was flying and had quite the number of mishaps on the way to deploy a station core. So funny story about this video. As I was coming in for a landing on the first attempt, well, I, I can't remember which attempt because it kept exploding. The shuttle just kept randomly exploding. But anyhow, there was an attempt that I had. And during that attempt, I ran into some really, really wonky issues because physics. And it caused me to actually have to come in for a splash landing. Uh, it's something really weird to do with, um, with the actual booster that I took up with me. And it just, when it hit physics the first time coming back into the atmosphere, it just, it loaded in like it was a complete brick. And so the entire craft just came down way too early. Instead of, you know, catching some aerodynamics and flying like a normal airplane would. I'm just saying. <laughs> so regardless, um, when I was flying in, coming in for a landing, I had the weirdest thing happen. When I came in and I hit the water, I expected this craft to nose down or start doing some weird physics flips or spinning out and doing all sorts of oddities. But no, that's not what I got. Instead, the craft came down, landed in the water, and it did it safely. There was no splashing around. There was no crashing. It just landed. And it confused the heck out of me because... <laughs> Every other thing I've done in this game, the craft basically has come in, crashed, and done some absolute horrendous thing when it hit the water. So, yeah, this was the biggest oddity I run into. Now, if you're wondering where I've been, I have actually been putting together, rebuilding my tower. Uh, it's been quite the endeavor. I, uh, I think the last time I built my tower, the last upgrade I did was just adding a, 20, a 2060 to it. But this time I did a complete rebuild on the tower. So instead of playing on my gaming laptop or playing on my old desktop that was really just built for music and then I slapped the 2060 in there, I was able this time to actually build a proper gaming rig that almost matches what we played with uh, over in ESA. So I've been doing a lot of stress testing on that rig and let me just tell you, it is absolutely fantastic. I have seen pretty good boosts in frames per second. So we're talking going from, like you see in this, in the video I'm playing here, you might see the frames per second there. It's usually around 9 to 15 when I'm doing something really stressful in the game. Um, but in this, in, in the new rig, it's basically, it's, it's doing great. It's doing over 40s. Um, it makes everything a lot more fluid when you're finally over 30 frames per second. And it's not something that I often see with my older rigs, which was a bit of a downer. But hey, with the new rig, I should have a lot better recordings. Everything should be a lot more fluid. Um, I will post the specs on the review video I do showing off the new frames per second gains that I have. So that is going to be a thing that is up and coming. Stay tuned and we can go over my findings there. So until then, I hope you guys stay safe. Subscribe if you have not already. Hit that like button and drop me in a comment to let me know what you think about this shuttle water landing and why it actually worked where most of the others just went horribly, horribly wrong. Catch you guys later. Peace.